Jasmine here with Atlanta Boxing Social Club and Atlanta Boxing Media Group. We're interviewing O'Shea Jones, 6-0, two knockouts. Uh, this is your third fight at 154. How do you feel? Um, I feel... <clears throat> I feel good. Um, I wanted to stop in maybe like the second or third round, but I think I was fortunate at first. Then when I just started getting in my zone, it just came naturally. I agree with that. I feel like the first round, you look good. Second round, we could tell you were trying to get her out of there. Yeah. Um, then we got to the fourth, fifth round, and you were like really fighting that range. Mm -hmm. How did you feel with fighting that range versus fighting in the pocket? Do you feel better like taking a fight inside, or do you feel better with fighting? you know, for range? Well, when I was fighting inside, I was fighting her fight, and it was sloppy. So when I was my when, when I was using my distance, I was controlling the fight better. So I feel like my distance was better. Okay. I would say from the last fight that I seen you at OTX versus now, I can see the improvement and the comfortability in your sixth fight with fighting, again, with the distance, controlling the range. I think that's when you look your best. You look the most in control. You look composed. Um, talk about a little bit about your training camp, being prepared for this, being prepared for your opponent. What were you looking for coming in? Did she like, you know, live up to expectations? Um, well, yeah, she longer, she lasted longer than I expected. Um, I was working on mainly just sitting down on my shots more instead of just, you know, punching and leaving, punching and leaving. Mm -hmm. But in reality, the punching and leaving worked better, you know, <laughs> than what I actually was working on. So that's what comes with being an elite boxer, being able to adjust, you know, to your opponent when you're in there. Yeah, um, again, only the sixth fight, right? We can see the growth. We can see you in your prospect years getting better fight by fight. By far, this is the best fight. Um, not even giving consideration to your opponent, but just the overall performance that you were able to step in the ring and give us. Um, going forward, also another thing that I want to know is your punch placement. It looked a lot better. You were picking your shots, as JR said. Um, you was giving some uppercuts, putting some combinations together, two punch combinations, three punch combinations. Is that with working with your trainer? Is that credit to uh, sparring? Like, what does that come from? Um, I would say my uh, my punching improvement, um, my punching power, and my improvement of my punches came with my coaches. Because he said, once you see them, you know, hurt, or once a good shot connects, you can feel it. So follow up with it. You know what I mean? Okay. So once I felt the snap or the head go back, I do at least like two more. I try to do. Yeah. Okay. Well, for those that don't know, you are surrounded by champions. You know, Michaela Mayer is like a girl. Yes. So you're around the best. Uh, what what can we expect next from you? Um, you can expect um, probably a world title shot, probably like at the end of the year or okay. at the beginning of 2025. Okay. Um, I always want to accept better challenges because I feel like the harder the challenge, the better me show up. You know, the yeah. better opponent bring the better out of me. So if I fight, you know, people that's really not on my level, I tend to bow down to their level. You know what I mean? So I want the harder opponents to bring the dog out of me to see what I can do. Okay. Last question. Are we staying at 154? Um, yeah, I want to stay at 154 until I, you know, become undisputed. Then okay. I probably go down to 147. What? Go down? Okay, we don't hear that often. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you.